Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our journey through Breath of the Wild. It took me a bit to get things running because uh, the world is mean and evil and blah. But yes, I figured uh, I did do a bit of like off screen, like resource grinding because, well, we're, we're going to need all the resources we can get. But I guess since we're here, I can finish that diddly dee. Like, hey, I have the sun, like, shrooms that you wanted, man. Hello! I see you've brought the sun shrooms. Okay, now please hand over those three sun shrooms. Sure thing, man. Thank you. Here you go. And I got some hearty truffles. Nice. So, was that Chica Sense of Plus to your liking? It is decent for finding things. Oh yes, I just remembered. There was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Stop by when you have time to talk. Well, I'm right here. Why not? Ah, Link, I've got some news that should be music to your ears. I found a way to help you search for new objects using the Sheikah Sensor Plus. Please feel free to show your excitement. Anyway, as I was conducting my research, I found that there are still some pictures of the past left on the Guidance Stone. If you add those pictures to your Hyrule Compendium, you can search for their subjects to Sheikah Sensor. Is that hard? Hard? No, no, not at all. The Sheikah Sensor has been powered up to the Sheikah Sensor Plus. It can now access a picture registered in your Hyrule Compendium, allowing you to search for the subject of the picture. I trust you now see the benefit of adding pictures to your Hyrule Compendium. It makes it much easier to search for items you need, reducing one more burden you face in your travels. Shall I explain it? I'm good. Now then, go ahead and place your Sheikah Slate on the Guidance Stone. I don't normally like to let people use my little guidance stone for free, but I kind of want to see what'll happen, so just this once I'll let it pass. Well, you heard her. Could you go and use the Sheikah Slate over there? Sure. Thank you. Let's go ahead and turn on the guidance stone. Thank you. Snap. I don't remember if I ever, like, did this before. Was this added in an update at some point? Maybe they people are like, man, I just cannot find any of the memories whatsoever. And so they're like, fine, we'll give you an ability to search for it in-game. That would be kind of funny. Hyrule Compendium updated. At least that's what I think the guy was talking about. Well, it did get updated. What say you? Oh, wow, this is... It seems the Hyrule Compendium recovered a picture from the past. It appears the picture from the Guidance Stone was transferred to your Hyrule Compendium. You can't restore transferred pictures, so be careful of overriding it. You can fill it in open slots by taking pictures of the camera or using the Guidance Stone. And it won't be free from now on either. Keeping a lab like this running has a lot of expenses, you know. Yes, what she said. I, I, I don't even know exactly what this is. Fleet Lotus Seeds. So yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't think I fully understand what the guy was going for. Apparently they're like new things that they were added. I don't understand it. Because I am a fool. But alright, interesting. Whatever you say, game. But now, we shall try and go on some adventures. We just need to find some shrines, because that's what I want to do today. And I figure, since that is a shrine that is right over there, easily enough accessible, I suppose. Then again, hmm. there were people saying, ah, the, the beach. Go to the beach. But maybe, maybe not. 
I'm going to go to that shrine, if at all possible. And who knows, maybe we'll come across some shrines on our way to that shrine. And we'll just have to see how things go. I guess I could always try, like, the shrine quest with those. But that goes into the frozen mountains. And we can't trust the frozen mountains all the time. And once again, we are graced with the music that I swear sounds like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon to a degree. Which is hilarious, because when I was beating Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team... Was it yesterday or two days ago? Time is an illusion. But last time I played Blue Rescue Team and beat it on stream... We entered the Funny Aha Zone when it comes to music as well, because there was a tune that I swear sounded like Ace Attorney. We're gonna have to climb up this mountain. And I should stop, like... <laughs> just being like, go into my, oh, I want some crickets, I shall destroy the grass and get, like, stuff as we go. I can grab crickets on my own time. Random cricket, all right? It's like the game was listening to me. He's like, oh, you want a cricket? Have a cricket. Yep. Get bombed. The best way to get things in this game. Explosive murder. Hopefully this mountainous pass will allow me to go about my way of down to the shrine. I just want to see if there's like... Nope, though. Kind of. I just want to make sure there was no like shrine areas about. Why does that look like a hand? Hmm. Creepy mountains. I don't see any, like, shrinage about, so. Oh, let's dare to be stupid. Try and get over and make our way to that and potentially run into deadly enemies. Highly possible. Is that a big bull? A water buffalo. Good for you. And of course it's raining again. I swear, this game is schizophrenic. It rains, it stops raining. It rains, it stops raining. It rains, it stops raining. I really should make some, like, Iron Shroom food. Then again, I don't really have the hearts to really make that matter. What I should really do is make some food that gives me bonus hearts. Oh, bugger off, you skeletons. No one likes you. The game will be like, ah, oh, but you're traveling at night. And I'll be like, yeah, show. Huh. Just gotta get to that shrine. Darn, they're on horseback. How dare they? At least. My spear is better than your spear because it represents the common man. In fact, it actually is better than your spear. Ow! Who would win? A thing made for killing people by a monster? Or farmer equipment? 
Obviously, Morden from Mass Effect would be proud. I wonder if I accidentally summon rain because I'm wearing stealth stuff. And the game's like, ah, you want to be stealthy? We'll give you, like, extra th stealth with rain so that things can't hear you. Why are there so many goddamn skeletons? I know it's night, but it's... Oh, fuck off. Also, that was totally your head. You... Again, that was totally your head. Bloody skeletons. Trying to see, uh, this should be the path up there. And let's -a go. Another water buffalo, some towers, a lot of towers. And they're probably going to be the. Oh no, they're reds. So I can one shot them with arrows if I so choose. With my upgraded bombs, they die in one go. Again, I play so much Pokemon Legends Arceus, and the crouch button is B. I have the arrows to spare. The arrows to sparrows. on fire. Get lit on fire again. Hope he's dead. Good. Then I will take your sword. Of course it bloody lit my stuff on fire. It's kind of annoying that I have to come in here to drop a Korok leaf. And then that guy just went to bed. Alright, let's pay him a visit by just dropping that, grabbing this, and sneak attacking him with his own sword. Lol. So when everything goes right on a sneak attack, you can take down just about anybody. And Soldier's Spear, which is less damage than the actual things that we got from the enemies. What the hell, game? Why is that in a chest? Now we gotta gather up the resources from the dead. Yes, I know. There is a shrine. We are going there now. I just wanna make sure I get all of the resources. Some extra arrows. That's always nice. You'd think that if I had, like, marked a shrine, the game would know that I know that there's a shrine. And I have, like, no need to be warned that there's a shrine. Unless there's, like, a boss. No, even if there was a boss, it would be more like a, a boss warning. This just, like, feels like an open area. Ah, just random skeletons. I don't know why. It's just, like, the open space... 
Just made me go, hmm. Bug off. <laughs> there was just such a, like, an openness that a part of me wondered if, like, a boss would rise up from the ground to challenge me. But what kind of shrine will this be? Will it be a nice shrine? Will it be a mean shrine? A combat shrine? Or... Puzzle. Combat. Oh no. A modest test of strength. Oh boy, and it doesn't even give me weapons to deal with. Oh boy. Well, we're gonna have to use our hardiest weapon more than likely. And it's just one. It has a shield, too. Before we get into things, I'll eat some acorns so I can be full up. All right, interesting. Of course, that's badly damaged already. What are you doing? Close. Dang it. Get it smacked. Oh. Jerk. Double jerk. Will you stop it? Will you double stop it? I only have so many acorns. Uh Okay, that was mean game. He hit the she hit the thing. If I was swinging my sword rambunctiously like that, I would have totally hit the diddly d thing and it would have blocked me. Oh, but because it's an enemy, it gets a pass, don't it? Because, of course, the game prefers the enemy. Jerk. Luckily, I'm on the ground, and I can eat. And of course, I are, oh yeah, didn't I did have a go ahead and summon extra health thing, didn't I? Kind of nice that it doesn't like multi-hit you. All right, so this is just its pattern, is it? Or are you gonna start? Some Just in case. All right, game. Rude as all hell. I keep meaning to make more things and keep forgetting. You're just very rude, game. Jerk. Destroyed all my shields. Then again, really, in this game, the only thing to use shields on, at least to my feeling, are the guardians. So 
see anything that I care to eat. Not really, so let's just eat some apples, I guess. One more. How very rude. I wonder what will be in the chest, though. I did get some a nice weapon and a nice shield out of it. I wonder how good a guardian shield is at withstanding guardian stuff. I am totally taking that bow. Thank you very much, game. But what am I doing? I dropped the one that's four. Because everyone knows adding spikes to bows make them more dangerous. Now give me, give me your spirit soul. Give unto me. I will offer it up to the god so I can be more resilient. I didn't even need to eat all my apples. He would have healed me. Darn it. I am Le Fool. But those mini guardians do have interesting little gimmicks up their sleeves. And of course, it's still goddamn raining. Well, because reasons. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just wondering where I should, like, try and go. Because maybe we could... See about, like, see if there's anything in that direction from the Great Plateau, maybe? Or maybe we should head up this way. Hmm. Decisions. There's lots of places that I can go. There seems to be an arena here. I wonder if these mean that I... Hmm. I wonder if that icon means I missed a, a, a chest in there. Probably. I guess I'll check them out on my own time. That could be a thing. I can check sh uh, the shrines on my own time. Well, I guess we'll go to this shrine and... Check out the land behind the Great Plateau. Because why not? And then from there we'll probably go to the various towers to see if we can pinpoint places. Just find a bunch of shrines, explore. And from there, just see about things. Because I can mark the various towers. That one's, like, very far away. I can at least mark that tower. That one's way too far away. And besides, we can always remark it from here if we so choose. And there is a bridge that we can cross. Hmm. To get over there. For some reason, I feel like that I would see more shrines off in the distance. But they're all towers. Alright, we'll go to the Great Plateau Tower. We'll teleport... Well, we won't teleport. Teleporting to the tower... And then we'll fly off and see about going to that other tower. See if we can find shrines along the way. We'll see, we'll see. Because I guess a bunch of shrines are decently hidden. Hmm. 
I like that the music kind of gets distant when you're looking around. Well, let's go adventuring. We'll head to the bridge, cross the bridge. And I'll be on the lookout for any shrines along the way. I probably should have gone to get my horse, though. But oh well. For some reason, I don't really like you. Like, unless it's a horse that I can just summon from wherever. But the fact that it's like, oh, your horse might not be able to hear you if you're too far away. Well, then what's the point? Obviously, you're alive. You probably come alive at night. Well, since this is like... I guess I'll equip my sledgehammer as my weakest weapon. Well, let's head to the bridge. And listen for the beep beep. My diddly dee, have I made a picture of you? I have not. So we shall now. Because I highly doubt that I'm actually going to... Like, have much use of, like, taking pictures of the animals, but eh. Which reminds me, I'll need to take pictures of the enemies. Hello. I probably could have taken a picture of you. Well, we're gonna climb this down and, uh... Hunt the enemies on their own turf. And I really need to actually get around to making... Like, more dishes for my character. More elixirs and stuff. How can you hear me from there? You monster. Literally. Come over here, grab... Grab rush room. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of you. And I'll just bother all of them. And what are you gonna do? You have no friends. Hello, friend. Goodbye. Do a backflip. It's like the people who designed these little outposts loved seeing Bokoblins go flying. Goodbye, fiend. Take up the various resources as he comes to get me. What are you? What are you? You don't even have anything. Be gone, Satan. Your guts are now mine. With a sniper perch, I can destroy anybody. Huzzah. And now on our way again. I guess I could try and pick up a melee weapon that I don't mind using too much. What does taking pictures do again? Basically, it's for the compendium, ah, completion thing, as well as... You can use the Sheikah Sensor Plus to hone in on it again if you ever want to find it. So you can just be like, oh, Sheikah Sensor, let me find a dog. And then you can target it with the Sheikah Sensor. But only after having upgraded it. 
I wonder if there will be nightmares upon this bridge. Because we're going to try and go there and hope that it's not a pain. Could always be a pain. I knew. Throw. Too much to the right. Probably too much to the left. Oh, we did it! Huzzah! How are you even talking to me from down there? But now I have more seed, and it is raining again! Jesus! It is, is it the rainy season in Hylia? Hyrule? Or what? Feels ridiculous. I swear I'm not going to get any resources from that guy. Because that guy's on a perch. I'm going to shoot him. He's going to fall down. No resources for me. How dare you. You're a speedy little bastard, aren't you? And you missed. Good. His, well, his weapon went away. How dare. Oh, we're nearby a shrine. Oh, it's probably in the water, isn't it? Fishing harpoon. Ooh, treasure chest. We'll gather all this up after we kill this man. We'll sneak up behind him and stab him. Ah, this is the perfect time. We can take a picture. Don't know why I'd want to do that, but we can. How did he not hear me do that? I don't know. He is a dumb fool. And now he is dead. Do we want a boomerang? Sure. I'll take a boomerang. That was the weakest throw I've ever seen, Link. How dare you? I'm controlling you, but that's no excuse. I expected him to punch it. Zora Spear. Hmm. Is there anything I care about getting rid of? Yeah, I kind of want to keep the torch just because I don't know when... Well... Yeah, I'm sure I can find a torch again later. It's my weapon inventory, so I should have weapons for it. Hmm. It's saying that there's a shrine that way. Is it hidden on the island, game? Hmm. I don't really feel like hedging my best, my bets in luck, considering that it is frickin' raining again. As if the game just doesn't want me to utilize a good portion of the functions of the game. Like, Jesus game. Let me play. Why is it always raining for me? Did a developer on, like, the last update out, before they were never going to update the game again, put it to, like, rain 50% of the goddamn time? Probably more at this rate. It's just very frustrating. Unless I'm entering into, like, an area that's, like, a perpetual rain. That's entirely possible. Maybe I... <laughs> I enter into Zora's domain and just lose my mind. Why is it always fucking raining? I could see that happening. Hmm. Just trying to make sure, because it is possible that there's... ...thing there. Hmm. Raining again, game! God damn it. What is your damage? Can it not be raining for five minutes? Jesus Christ. It is just absurd and obnoxious how many times it has been raining while I've been playing this game. And it just feels stupid. 
You added the ability for the player to climb games, so for the love of God, let me climb. Oh, I fucking loathe you, game. At least it's no longer raining. Goodbye, suckers. You better not snipe me. I'm gonna go around. Maybe I'll kill you on my way down. It is just so insane how many times it frickin' rains in this game. And after we, like, uh, activate this, I'll feel doubly nice about checking out that island for a potential shrine. Because then we can just teleport back to this tower if it's not there. Or even if it is there, and I don't want to deal with teleporting away. Or, like, swimming away. Teleporting away is hardly anything to worry about. I can't really see what that is over there. What's good? Yep, Breath of the Wild. It should have been marked. Is <laughs> hopefully the dis like the title is it isn't incorrect. That would be failure on my part. <laughs> Thought this was Tears of the Kingdom. Nope, I uh, cause I never beat Breath of the Wild, and it's been five billion years since I played. So I figured, eh, why don't I give this a shot? Complete Breath of the Wild, and then do Tears of the Kingdom. Probably feels awfully stale for people used to Tears of the Kingdom by now. But that's kind of why I wanted to play Breath of the Wild first. So that, like, I get the full experience of Breath of the Wild without going, Oh, but I missed this advancement they made in uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Like, usually I'm good with being able to go back to older games in a series... So that I don't go that totally, but... Eh, still, I want to avoid that ever so slightly. And plus, this will also round out my Breath of the Wild experience, because I really like Age of Calamity, the Hyrule Warriors game. And I have Tears of the Kingdom, so I want to play this first. And then get to it. <laughs> Coolest thing. These games are cool. It's very good. I still want to know what would happen if you, like, drank that droplet. It's like technology information liquid. And I wonder what it is. Whatever could it be? But right now, we're kind of hunting shrines. And they're doing a damn good job of hiding from me. Mostly because I want to get hearts up. I need to remember to cook stamina stuff. But now, when we were over there, the Sheikah Shrine sensor was beeping in that direction. So we're going to go to that, that diddly D and see what's over there. My stamina is probably not going to hold all over the way, but eh. We can try. The shrine sensor was beeping, beeping, unless there's like, I don't know, a shrine underneath it. Shrine under the water. Well, this kind of confirms my assumption that there's a shrine over here. Bring on the shrineage! Who puts a shrine in a hole? Feels odd, but sure. Why is there a fox on this island? Don't worry, little man. I will not kill you. I have learned from Ghost of Tsushima. I do not kill the fox. That would actually be a funny thing if there was a game like this. This thing. Have fun. Hopefully I will. And thank you for checking out my stream for a little bit. But... I wonder if there's a game out there that does, like, have a bunch of animals that you can kill for resources, but there's, like, a 50% chance that a fox is actually, like, a... ba 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 What is it? A kitsune. And then if you do it, you try and kill them for resources, you'll have a mini boss fight on your hands. But then that would actually probably encourage people to fight them. 
and kill them. Because, like, ooh, boss fight. Because I'm going to assume... Hmm. Let's see what happens if we activate it first. So, probably set this here. Set other bomb here, and maybe it'll detonate upon impact. Darn. I'm on the right path, though. I am Le Fool. Once again, my brain is like... Pressing wrong buttons at the wrong times. H like, Pokemon Legends Arceus doesn't even have a bomb button. Get smacked. Let's look around, make sure there aren't any hidden treasure chests. In and about, doesn't seem to be. Well, huh? So there's a treasure chest there. So if I want to get that treasure chest, I just have to set the bomb off and float to the correct way. Is float to the right. Well, I guess it kind of let you know because there was an opening that way. Explosions! Treasure chest for me! An eightfold blade. I think we can throw something away to get you. Hmm. We don't really need a woodcutter's axe because we have bombs. And plus, if we need a woodcutter's axe, we can always go and grab one from the Great Plateau. Oddly, this seems like a very simple, like, shrine. Thank you, game. Yes, 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 your resourcefulness, diddly dee. Give unto me our power. If we want it, we can go get another heart already. But I want to see if we can double up. Go grab a bunch of shrine spirits, turn them all in, get two hearts. And then, of course, we're going to teleport out because, haha, <laughs> no. I refuse. I'm not going to swam. Silly game. That would be interesting if the shrine, uh, as it's teleporting you out, you're like, oh, hey, where in the Sheikah network would you like to be teleported to? All right. There was an interesting place over here. Papetto Grove. Hmm. Then there's like a, a grassland on that side that maybe I could look f look at, but various things. Hmm. Ah, darn it. Yeah, we already marked you. There doesn't seem to be any other shrines that I can definitively see. They it is nice that they used a high contrast like thing. Color. That's what it is. Why is there just a bunch of steam over there? Or mist. Vision obscuring stuff. Hmm. We can always, like, climb that mountain in search of shrines another time. Let's head over to that stable and shrine. Is that another one or is that just a fire? I wish I could look. Hmm. 
I wonder what that is. I want to know now. Will it be my death? Will it be my end? Will it be like a Hinnok? Oop. Well, the game is saying shrine this away. So it seems like it might be a shrine. Is that a person? It does seem to be a shrine that way. Feron Woods! Why do you only show up when I show up? I want more shields. Give me a better shield. I accidentally summoned them to kill you, but I also saved you. Uh, it's unusual to see someone out here, traveler, traveling alone. Where are you headed? To the shrine? I, I guess to the to the south. No, I think to the east. Headed east, huh? Going to Floria Falls by any chance? I've heard some strange stories about that place. Stories about a creature that looks like a huge snake. I'm headed toward the Farren gra Grasslands. Mm -hmm. You want to hear my story? Sure, I'll tell you. Didn't even give me a chance to answer. It was a while back. I'd lost my best friend, a horse I'd been traveling with for years and years, and then I heard this tale of a fountain in the Farren Grasslands, a magical fountain that can revive lost horses. I never did find that when I played the game the last time. Then again, I don't think I ever had a horse die on me. Mostly because I don't really use horses in this game. Hear a monster raving about. Hopefully this won't be another test of fighting. Yeah, there is some monster out there that's angry. But let us see. Puzzle or fight? What if it's a puzzle fight? You have to fight a giant jigsaw puzzle. Honestly, that would be a hilarious gimmick for a, uh, the Saw movie horror franchise as a video game. And of course, oh, it's only a minor test. I should be able to smack you up. Eightfold play time. I'll kick your ass. Please don't kick my ass. After I said that, I beat a mild test of strength earlier, so this shouldn't be too bad. Ah, he, he changed. Well, you're gonna smack into that pillar. Congratulations. You are a fool. You are a fool. And I have an eightfold blade. And the camera keeps changing and making me go crazy. Oh no, oh no. Okay, you stopped at the best of times, my friend. I'm just gonna keep smacking you. Goodbye. Guardian shield. Hell yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise that I got that harder one first. That could just be me coping, but eh. I wonder if it's bad that I'm going through and gathering up all these guardian materials first. By accident, I'm not going after the strength test. Why is there a boomerang here? It's absolutely crazy. I just also realized that they kept these presumably uncorrupted guardians. Well, then again, maybe it does. Maybe that's why they are destroyed. Originally, they were meant to just be like sparring things, where ah, oh, the hero will fight them, and then things will be good. But because Ganon, Calamity Man, corrupted all the guardians, even the sparring ones are now out to kill you. So you have to destroy them. That could be it. I mean, they are like literally trying to kill you in these challenges.
Another hearty radish. We're gonna go on our way. And it is raining again. Raining again. Why? Alright, that skeleton actually made a pretty creepy sound. Cease. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I got turned around. For some reason, that didn't look like a path. But it is a path. We're going to go to the shrine and the stables. Maybe see if there are, like, any quests to gather in there. What's a little rain? I thought it was going to be clear skies today. Must be a sign. I think I'll rest these weary bones. My donk is back is packed with a top choice merchandise. So take your time browsing the goods. Huh. Well, what do you have? A hearty durian. Basically everything is hearty. Well, there is mighty palm fruit. Hmm. I'm I save my money for more important things. I'm sorry, my man. Anything that I can find out in the world, I don't want to pay for. Leave that poor goat alone. Stop running and start dying. Well, that's very rude. He did a ton of damage with a very squiggly thing. Full recovery and gives me bonus hearts. I can always make more. Sure, why not? Yeah, very rude. Because, yeah, that doesn't do that much damage. Of course they super slide away, forcing me to run for their guts. I don't even know exactly what's important about their guts. But I can always make more supercharged diddly, and there was a take that I could take. Arrow. My own arrow. It has returned to me. This is a stable. Yeah. For some reason, it looked a bit or ornate. And also, they're surrounded by enemies. Why are they surrounded by enemies? Is this a Bacoblin stable? That would be hilarious. You think it's a safe stable? Psych! It's actually enemies! What's wrong with you? Oh, hey, it's the... The painter man. Oh, you're the guy who found the great fairy fountain. Funny running into you here. Are you traveling too? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Hmm. Ah, uh, these two tiny statues, depicted here, and that faint view of the Bridge of Hylia in the distance. And also the mountains there. I think I could have found that on my own after crossing the tower of the bridge. From this angle, I think perhaps this is the northeast shore of Lake Halia. Possibly Scouts Hill, or perhaps a little further east of there. Thank you, man. Uh... That's all I know, I'm afraid. Sorry, but you'll have to follow your own feet if you want to find it. But these statues... They look like my husband and wife, em like a husband and wife embracing. Such a simple yet charming sight. Wow! Wow! You know, I was just thinking about you. Oh, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle! Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? Of course I'll give it to you. You, you give me good stuff for these things.
And I think that'll be it. There doesn't seem to be anybody selling anything. So we're gonna climb up to that there diddly dee. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be like any... Why are you growling? If only we could pet you, dog. If only we could pet you. I don't even know how to pronounce most of these shrines. Especially because I believe that they're just, uh, what is it? They're mixing around the letters of certain developers' names, I believe. That's how it goes. With them, I believe. Well, let's see. I doubt this will be another strength trial, considering there was one literally just down the road, so... Lotasa. Close that pooch if you prevent a dog. It may lead you to something interesting. That also is interesting. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a fight. Metal doors open the way. A Magnesis Shrine. That's funny. You open the doors! Ow. Drop your things for me! I guess I'll use the Guardian Spear, it's low. Hmm. So this is definitely a... And you just instantly die. I guess... that it only wanted to move in a specific way. A traveler's bow, which is kind of garbage, but who knows, maybe it's better than some of the bows I have. Yeah, I like this bow. Could have sworn I dropped you. And I guess if we blow that up, we can use that to get across places. Explosion. Well, I'll throw it there for now. Very interesting. I do like that they do interesting things with the mechanics. Then again, that's kind of like part of this hunt. Darn, I am the fool. I have to move it closer so I can actually access it. Well, that's kind of a rude game. That's not exactly what I want at all. There we go. Moving this is slightly difficult. Yes. Then I assume we use you to knock everything about. Or... Ah, yeah. Knock things about. We'll go ahead and throw you over here. So I can use you. And we're gonna go open this treasure chest. Opal. Very good. Let us see. Now we just need to finish this. Find one more, and we can, uh, like, find one more shrine, and we can get two. Hmm. It's kind of weird that you don't have a, hey, I would like to orient this a different way button. Oh, come on, game. You know what I want. With some of the 
items, orientation doesn't really matter. But with ones like this, the orientation of its directions are very important. I suppose it's not meant to be a super duper in-depth thing. Act close. Yeah. Oh, ye. Ouija time. And I am the victor. The winner of the day. Yes, yes, yes. Resourcefulness, resourcefulness. Be gone. Oh, no, we need two more. Hmm. For some reason, I thought we already done, like, two extra ones past what we needed. Hmm. My memory is fine, as you can tell. Memory perfectly good. Do not question my memory thoughts. Let us see. We could try to, because it said it was at Scout Hill, or somewhere around there, so... We're definitely going to set a marker for there. Hmm, I guess we could try and go for the tower. That's over there. As well. There's the Gerudo Tower. Hmm, I'll try and uh, climb this mountain a Excuse me. I'll climb this mountain a bit. See if we can get a vantage point for everything everywhere all at once. I've never watched that movie. I don't even really know much about what it's about. I just heard that a lot of people really like it. Oh, not a Korok. Uh... Oh, it wants me to go there. All right, we'll have to bear off the ticking for a bit because I want to look around. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any like immediately standing out things except from the tower. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess we can try and get there. Probably fail. But why not? Would be funny if it was like a perpetually getting away, like further away thing. Basically a mockery. Oh, you want to get close? You want to get close? You never will. You will never attain your goal. And plus, I don't think I'm going fast enough. I should have employed the run whistle. Technique. Well, it looks like I'm going to get here in time anyway. A fairly simple one, but hey. Timers always give me fear. Hmm. No, not that. There's an enemy encampment thing, but... I don't really see much else except for that one tower that we can do at another time. We'll head to Scout's Hill. Get that memory. And then, I don't know, maybe trudge through the forest and jungle to that tower. You know, me with my piddly stamina. Probably have to climb things. We could always also go over there. See if we can find a uh, shrine among the mountains. Here I thought this game was all about, like, 
shrines just like being so everywhere you couldn't go anywhere without tripping over them. Yet it really does feel like they're elusive. They dare to hide from me. What are you doing up there? Bandit highwayman man? Waiting for people to rob? Would be interesting to climb, but I don't think I have the stamina, and I don't want to waste my stamina potions on it. Look around for any sign of glowing orange. Aside from towers in the distance. Oh, hey, a person. Hey, hey buddy. Me? <laughs> Aw, you're so cute. Yep. Want to spend some time with me? I refuse. Uh, well, but why? Don't you like me? I, you don't even have a name. No, I don't like you. <laughs> You're so mean. Well then, Hylian Champion, time for you to die. Yeah, I knew it. The moment I saw it, your name was, was a traveler. Goodbye. Oh, not so goodbye. How dare. And... You're a very odd person. How dare you do that every single time? Ah, oh, crap. And he dropped his sickle down the way. And I should probably save that for fighting guardians, because apparently guardian stuff does good against guardians. Who would have thought? It's made of guardians! You can kill it! I also do find it amusing that it's just like, inevitably you can see the bright blue shrines that you've already completed. A mockery. They're like, aha, you'd like a new shrine, wouldn't you? You fool, but I exist. It's me, Benjamin Button. We're gonna go... Because hmm. Scouts Hill, yeah, is up there. Not that. Although, no, that could be the proper place. We can glide to it if it's... If it is. I really do like this game. The graphics, the feel... And even though the open world does feel slightly empty at times, uh, to be fair, ooh, I see you. <laughs> I see a speck of orange on the horizon. Mark it now. <laughs> I become caveman SpongeBob. <gasps> there is a thing. But yeah, even though it does like, have that hallmark open world feel of emptiness it's not bad I do find it a bit annoying that there are background dragonflies that disappear if you get too close which is kind of bullshit but oh well whatever can you do except kill kill people kill them all kill everybody We'll check out this ruin, then glide over. Ooh, ooh. It says that there's a shrine here, boy! Where's the shrine? Oh, it's headed this way, eh? Alright, we'll check out this ruin, like, ghost tower. Let me guess. It is rude to hang out among the place of the dead. Now die! There's a shrine over here. A shrine over here. There it is. How did I miss you? 
I have a feel this is another Korok puzzle. Well, the weather is saying it's going to be raining again in Hyrule Town. How did you even move that boulder? Or did you, like, see the boulder primed to be put into a hole? And you're like, aha! And I, I already see another... I already see another possibility of Korok. These Koroks are just everywhere, aren't they? Too much to the left. Oh, you bastard. This is like... I feel this... Is, for some reason, this really reminds me of... Uh, Black and White from Lionhead Studios. The God Sim game. You slut. It's always one way or another. You better get in there, you bastard. And I already see another Korok puzzle down the way, across the river, and through the day. You did this to me, you little Korok bastard. Bosh Kala. Now this is just making me chuckle at the idea of there being, like, a Korok Sheikah monk. They're, like, all the same serious in the... I'm talking to a thing game. Your contextual climb is being silly. Activate this shrine. Now the question is, will this be another fight or will this be a puzzle? You never can tell. Granters of boons! At the far reaches of the continent, like the first thing I found, there's a being that could tr trade hearts and stuff. It's a fight, isn't it? No, it's not! The wind guides you. Very neat. Out of taking rubies, but okay. Well, there doesn't seem to be any thing over there, so woo! And if you want to go back, you can. Uh, hmm. How doth I get you? I want that treasure chest. I want it. I want the treasure chest. I guess I can just, like, go all the way over. I have been bamboozled. Bamboozled by myself. I just had to follow the wind a bit more. That's eh, a two-handed one, and I'm not a big fan of two-handed weapons. Is there anything I care to get rid of? I guess the Zora Spear. Goodbye. You're like a respawning item anyway, I think. If any weapon has to be chucked, it should be a weapon that respawns. Because that would honestly be a terrifying game design. A perpetual world like that. Beware, you might softlock yourself. While you're doing various challenges, remember to stay hydrated. Yes, the paraglider, we just used that. Use R to scope out a safe spot to land. If you mean for scoping, like telescoping, you can't do that while you're flying. And that's raining again! Well, it was, it did. It, to be fair to the game, it did indeed 
warn me that it was going to be raining through the weather forecast, but still. I just find it absurd because it's nothing but rain in this game. Once again, Legend of Zelda, Breath of Rain. Breath of My Tears. We're gonna have to remember the memory of through this goddamn rain. Technically, it doesn't even say that it's raining. It says that the rain's gonna come later. Now, that's horrifying. Either the... Either it's still raining. You no, know, it's like... Because the way uh, that I can hear the walking, it's splish-splash. I'm taking a bath. Up in here. Ah, that one. Will you bugger off? To hell with you, I fly. Like, I think this is the proper tree. And the game commends me. Let us recall a memory as a skeleton comes to assassinate us. I remember. And what do you remember, Link? What do you remember? I do like these segments. Ah, oh, it's even raining in the memory! I doubt this will let up anytime soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. The ultimate knight. The training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. Why don't you take up the sword? Become the protagonist like half the internet wants you to be. One day, you realized that you just weren't meant to be a fighter. Yet the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard. And so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. Would be harsh. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then... Would you have chosen a different path? But he obviously wants to be a knight. Well, technically I'm a ninja right now, but... A ninja we wielding a claymore. <laughs> Don't mind that at all. Alright, that's one memory done. I do like that the painter guy, if you find him, he can just point you in the right way. That's kind of nice. Hmm. We'll make our way about that way, hope that it doesn't rain so we can climb that. And then we can use the mountains to survey the land! Yeah, we'll try to make our way up there. Thanks to being a ninja, I can just grab a lizard off the road. I don't need to be sneaky. I could <gasps> It was a flowing star. Where did the fallen star go? Game. I saw it. I saw it. The fallen star. I don't know how important they are, but I like them and I think that they'd be very important. To some degree. Like a, a super diddly d upgrade from one of the great fairies. I see the trail fly across the sky and immediately I start rapping. Well, there's already another. We gotta get there before the sun rises because then they disappear. Not the artillery cannon, man. Huh. 
probably should have started with the Cryosis. Be gone. Be gone. Why are there so many bastards after me, but when I just want to get that star? I need to walk away from you, skelly man. And then maybe you... Be gone, be gone. You bastard. What the hell? Huh? How did I miss that? Oh, we're gonna just get all the shrines. This will be very nice. Then we can cook some more bonus health star things. Oh no. For some reason it feels like a, th that moon is so bright it feels like day. I could bring out one of my horses, but no. I probably should, though. But I'm now set on this path. Wait, I know. Let's see. The infinite run that I learned from Syriax. You don't run as fast. But you don't run out of stamina. You come here, you. Mine. Fuck off! You better not come in for another go. I still have bombs. I think they despawned. Lol. Well, we'll head over there. Down to that shrine. That I just never paid attention to, apparently. And let's do the... This is a... a fuck off. How dare you? You summon a key swarm at me. And we're just gonna chase after this guy. He's gonna run into that enemy and it's gonna hit him and I'm gonna laugh. He said another banshee screw hole. Bugger off, won't you? I am horse whistle running. I am beyond you. No, we're not going to do that. That should have been a hit on his body game. Whenever I think it should be a headshot, the game says no. Whenever I think it should be a body shot, game says no. Oh no, it's the flower lady, where if you fail too many times, she kicks your ass. Look, aren't they lovely? I wanted to see how the shrine would look with flowers around it. It's wonderful. Please feel free to take a closer look. Just don't step on them. What if I bombed them? No, you must not hurt the flowers. They are screaming in pain. I mean, I did bomb them. Even those flowers. How many times do I have to say it? Please treat the flowers with care. They're living things, you know. So this is the uh, 
Legend of Zelda Poison Ivy origin story. You know what? Do not care. I lit them on fire. <laughs> I lit them on fire. Why don't you care? Oh, now she cares. So many times. I've lost count of how many times I've told you. It's just so many now. <laughs> how do you not understand? Why don't you get it? <laughs> I worked day after day after day to plant those flowers, then you come and hurt them over and over! Wow, she ran fast. I will make you understand. The flowers rage! Would be hilarious if she turned into a boss fight. Oh no, she took away all my bonus health. Well, fine, I'll respect the flowers. Granted, they're not really planted in a good way. They're planted in haphazardly, really. Are you fucking with me right now? If that jumped on the flowers and she got angry at me, I would be annoyed. But that is hilarious. Her anger, her rage. We have to be careful because that one patch right in front probably also activates her. I will make you understand the flower's rage! <laughs> Leaps at you like a goddamn monster. <laughs> oh no, don't tell me it's a combat trial as well. No, drifting. If I wanted to, I could probably freeze it in place. Let's test that out a bit. It does indeed stop him. Huh. Oh, because it's metal. I'm dumb. Answer to me! Opal. Hmm. Lol. I still need to continue my Pokemon playthrough. Hmm. Well, I have completed, like, uh... Oh. For some reason, I thought that chest was, like, perpetual. Well, that's odd. But yeah, maybe my next stream will actually be... Pokemon, because it's been a bit since I played an actual Pokemon game. Sure, I just beat uh, Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, but... As much as I like it, it is not a Pokemon game. Like, traditional, at least. 
And a nice relaxing classical RPG could be nice and fun. Yes, yes, yes. Resourcefulness, resourcefulness. I was more resourceful getting in here because of the crazy lady. Really? Well, let's see. But yeah, the next g Pokemon game I'm going to be playing is Pokemon Emerald. Apparently there are some differences between, like, Emerald... Oh, no, not... Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> There's a difference between Emerald and Emerald. Duh. But... And since I'm surrounded by the flowers... Well, first I'm gonna quickly glance around, maybe. See if I can... Spy any orange. You must not hurt the flowers. They are screaming in pain. Please don't tell me that she keeps me here. Okay, good. She teleports me away. But... There are differences between the original double game... Uh... What is it? I'm trying to think of it. Uh, Sapphire and Ruby. There's a difference between Sapphire and Ruby... And then... Emerald. There are some differences. I think they replace the champion. If I remember correctly. Which I guess would make playing a... Uh, which would mean if I ever went, got around to playing Pokemon uh, Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby, I think they are, would have like... Some some purpose. Okay, our, our, our artillery bastard. Yeah, yeah. I jumped into it. How do I even do that? How do you lead me? I was standing still. You have to like psych him out. He expects you to move, so you need to not move. But yeah, if there are differences between Emerald and then Alpha and Omega for the 3DS, there, that would make uh, doing a playthrough of them slightly useful as well. Give it a purpose. And I guess by the time I get to... Hmm. Because what comes after Emerald? I think it's actually the Diamond and Pearl games. Of which I'll be playing Platinum. And I do not have... The diddly D. the... Well, that's hilarious. What's it called? S Shining... Yeah, it's... Uh, oh, Hestu! Hestu! Give unto me upgrades! Shalaka! We meet again! I want to go home to Korok Forest, but I've lost my way. According to the folks at the stable, this area is the Lenaru region. Shak Shaka. That means Korok Forest is still north of here. Well, since I'm already here, I may as well stay a while and relax. Oh, wait a minute. I detect the sin of Korok seeds. You've received a Korok seed from the forest children, haven't you? If you give me Korok seeds, I'll make one of your stashes bigger. Hmm. I guess I'll make one more bow. Okay. I just need one Korok seed. So, yeah. Okay, that's good, so... Expansion is very easy on... Uh, it's just like, uh... Super duper going into one category gets very expensive. I still love that Hestu sings along. <laughs> Expand a ban ban bow stash, Shakala. I want a weapon stash. I have the Korok seeds to give you for my weapon stash. I wonder whose thought it was to make Hestu the inventory expansion man. 
Meanwhile, in Legends Arceus, it's just a guy that you pay. Yes. Give him all. More weapons. More weapons! The voice actor for Hestu must have had a lot of fun. Can you do weapon stash again? Sure, take them all. More weapons. Of course, this means I'm gonna have to really dig in for extra weapon expansion. But it does also mean that I have a good weapon diddly D. Well, let's see what's in here. Please don't be a combat one. Then again, I do have the inventory to do in it, a weapon one again. But what was I talking about? I don't have, like, the Shining Pearl and Blinding Diamond like games on Switch. And it is kind of sad that apparently they weren't, like, that well made. Which is very disappointing. Especially because... I really do, like, uh, well, it's been forever. It has been forever, forever. I do quite remember really liking... Hmm, we need to be careful, because maybe this guy is important to, like, getting across, or... Nope, you are just something to kill. Goodbye. But yeah, because when it comes to my, like, childhood history of playing uh, Pokemon games, like, uh, my family got me and uh, the brother that was similar enough age to me, was still much older than me, got, got us uh, Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red. from eBay. And yeah, the games worked really well, and they were very fun. You bastard. How dare you. I need that raft. Damn you, game. Well, that's just very rude, game. Very rude. But yeah, my family got me Pokemon Blue for my copy. And we also got... Pokemon, da da da. The second generation, and I got gold. Gold was my copy. I don't think I ever got to play Pokemon uh, Emerald, though. Or, like, even Alpha, or. Not Alpha. Or even uh, Sapphire and everything. Hmm. Gotta snap you. So I can... Come on, grab... Game is mean. But yeah, I never got to play the third generation of Pokemon because the brand new generation at the time was the fourth generation. 
diamond and pearl, and I got pearl for Christmas that year. And then later upgraded to platinum because I really liked Pokemon at the time. And it was very nice. I still have my platinum copy, and I think I also still have my pearl copy to facilitate trading Pokemon back and forth if I ever wanted to play platinum again with my old, like, starter and legendaries and stuff. Well, we might as well talk to... Oh, hey, it's the dude. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over. If you show me a picture, let me see it. Check out my album. Hmm. That forest, I get a feeling I've seen it before. I can't say for certain, but I believe this may depict the forest just south of here. No, wait, maybe it's the forest on the other side of the river, northeast of the bottomless swamp. I went for a stroll around there recently, and I feel I may have seen a view like that. So, the bottomless swamp. So, this forest? It's hard to tell, because... So, I'm going to assume... I don't think we need that anymore. But yeah, the... that forest. Thank you, old man. Do you have anything? Nope. Like, uh, I, by that I mean, do you have any... Just like, oh, I have a beetle you want, you give it to me, kind of things. I guess we can go in and see if there's... Yep, terrifying. Oh, hey, it's the man! It's the dude! It is the Husbando of the Age! Yeah. Greetings, Traveler. How about a song? Th that there, on your hip! No, I'm sorry, it's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Uh, are you a bird? No worries. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cass. I'm a bard traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs? Mm. Ancient songs. Songs that sing to the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. One of the more famous one, uh, one of the more famous among them recounts the events of ten thousand years ago. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Let's hear it, my man! Whoa. Excellent. Without further ado. The kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and storied land. Oft grasped in the palm of a villainous hand, a dark force of destruction many times undone, rises once again Ganon, the Calamitous One. But hope survives in Hyrule, for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon I've committed to song to keep it through time no matter how long. Now begins the second verse. Listen and you'll know of their battle with Ganon ten thousand years ago. Would be interesting if that like instantly went into a flashback. Oh, the kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffering did cease. I have to do it fast because I don't know how long it'll last. But Ganon looked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaws, so the ancient people of Hyrule set out to help the cause. Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force to help avert calamity by sealing it at its source. Four giant behemoths for which power never ceased, each of these titans was called a divine beast. A free-willed machines that hunted down their prey, these guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. 
to guide the beasts in battle, warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine beasts, guardians, princess, and knight, their plan to rout Ganon was looking airtight. And when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism of Hyrule all the more incensed it. Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed its teeth and thrashed about, but it was all too late. The Guardians kept the hero safe through every hour. The Divine Beasts unleashed attacks that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the Sealing Sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon's soul. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. Even though it is basically just a retelling of what we already knew, I do like that it was put to, like, right, I think it's called Meter? Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. Hi! Ha-ho! <laughs> are you some kind of wanderer? Something like that. I don't care who you are! Just lend me an ear! I finally got it in my hands! The legendary weapon! A torch? Torch. Amazing! I'm prepared to be jealous. I'm sure you've heard of it. You know, the legendary weapon that only the chosen hero can wield. It's called the Master Torch. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called anyway. Whatever, leave me be, commoner. I'm trying to practice here. I wonder if I bring a torch of my own, if he'll just go insane. Like, no, you fraud. All right, that's just causing destruction. But I guess we can try and head uh, to the forest across the river. I'm going to take off everything that can... Well, no, apparently Soldier Shield isn't sparkable. Good. But yeah, we'll try and head to the river. Well, not the river. To the forest across the river. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Which one was it that he looked at? Hmm. Yeah, because it was either back here. Yeah, because he said the forest. Hmm. I forget specifically. Because he said either the forest that's just, like, right here. I don't think so. And why is it always goddamn raining in this game? I hate it. Oh, doth I hate it. How dare you show your floating ass to me. You must die. Ah, yes. Just thunder, lightning, thunder, lightning, rain, rain, rain. Ruin my soul, why don't you? Oh, right here. Let's recall that memory. Stupid fuck, you're in the way. As the thunder and lightning strikes down around me, I'm just being like, I'm going to look at my phone. Would be hilarious if somebody went through the trouble of just cutting down all the trees. So it didn't look normal. Though I wouldn't be surprised if, like, trees and stuff respawned when you activate that. But at the same time, maybe they don't. Oh, is this during the, the fight? Is this a bad memory? It is a bad memory.
This is completely out of order. Because uh, Ganon is a crafty bastard. Divine beasts. The guardians. They've all turned against us. It was... Calamity Ganon. It no, it was obviously us. Vin Diesel. And everyone. Aoife, Verbosa, Rivali and Daruk. They're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost. All because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything it is very harsh. Everything I've done up until now. To be fair though, even if you could nothing. harness the power, it would wouldn't really matter. I really am just a because Ganon would have still corrupted everything. Kingdom. My father, most of all. I've tried and I Sucks, don't it? What a depressing memory. And what, did did we just sh shape up and just turn around and take that picture? Because else you'd think that it would be like a memory of that picture being taken. But alright then. With that out of the way, we'll teleport to this tower, glance around, see if we can see any towers, and then do that sneaky little man up there. And maybe the rain will fuck off. Seriously, it's like half of this game is just rain. But we'll do that, and then we'll turn in some parts. We'll need to also make... I really need to remember to cook more in this game. Actually utilize that, but brain keeps forgetting. Glancing around to see if I see any orange... ...across the horizons. Nope, it's just... ...up there. Which, let's try and make it! We probably won't. Because we have a decent way to go. And I think I only have so many... ...stamina recovery things. I hope I run into the random spots that Cass... ...spawns in, because I don't remember running into him... ...that much. In my original playthrough of this game five billion years ago that I never beat. I think I only ever... Did... Two... Divine Beasts? I think? And even then, I can't quite recall. Cannot quite recall. Why can't I ride the goat? The goat can be my friend. So why can I not ride the goat, man? <laughs> but kind of jumping back to the topic of Pokemon games that I eventually want to go play. Hilariously, after playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, my want to play Pokemon Black and White has definitely gone up. Darn. I have no idea why they were like, we're going to make a Pokemon game that takes place in the past. And we're gonna throw in, randomly, the funny train man. But only one funny train man. The other funny train man must suffer. Which is just highly amusing to me. Apparently, Ingo 
did really well in the popularity polls. And apparently was only below another main character for, well, not another main character. Ingo isn't even a main character in the game. He is the, basically an optional f boss fight. Him along with his brother, Emmett. And yet it was a main part of the story character, in whom he is apparently close to on the, like, uh, popularity polls. Which is just amazingly funny to me. And it was through those popularity polls that they decided, we're gonna throw him through space and time! And of course, basically every single, like, popular Legends Arceus fanfic includes Ingo, or his presence, to some degree. So far, one of my favorite fanfics for Legends Arceus is also a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic, because I'm not biased, haha. <laughs> Oh, it's just a tower. I saw orange pinking out, and I thought that would be good, man. But, yeah. And hilariously, despite beginning its life as a one-shot, it's actually... Well, that's mean. I don't want to freeze. I should have the food necessary to activate my... I don't want to deal with this bullshit meter. But, yeah, the... Probably my favorite Pokemon Legends Arceus story so far, that is also a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic, began its life as a one-shot detailing how Ingo apparently fell through space and time again and became... a, a Sneasel and was saved by Sneasler. And then Emmett shows up as well. Get smacked, bitch. But I also see you, marked. And this talk of fanfics now remind me that I really should, like, try and do my writing more. For some reason, I've been faced with hefty both art block and writer's block. And I've not been able to shake them. Is very annoying. Very bothersome. I want to write, I want to draw, but then, for whatever reason, I can't bring myself to. I sit down, and I just can't bring myself to, like, open up... Uh, a diddly dean. This is a. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. The shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, uh, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start. Lest a failure, you will depart. I think I actually already took an in game screenshot of this. Let's go to my album. Yeah, I've only taken a handful of things. This was probably an accident. Legends Arceus is an amazing game. This was definitely an accident. And... But I have no idea what they mean. Oh. Uh, hmm. Each one bears the answer to the other's question. Hmm. Does make me wonder then. What exactly you mean?
because we're back here again. This is the one that we're in. Okay. So this must be the one, the answer to ours. So. Three, one, four, two, five. Seems to be it. All right, I think. Because I have the answer already. I think you go here. Wait, no. I already messed up. I'm a fool. I'm a meringue. It's two, three. Oh, and they're all over the place. I'm a failure. You go there. I think. All right, and there's two in the next column. Three, five. No, in, none there. Four, one. Dang it. But they're the same. Oh, it's because I'm, I'm a fool. I'm double fool. I already forgot how to do this. This one. Three, one. Yeah, okay. We have to recreate this one, uh, this pattern in the current dungeon. All right. So, three, one, four. Three. One, four. Thank God this this console has a this. Four. I'll have to double check that one. Two, five. Honestly, this is probably faster. I completely mixed up the point. Thank you. I didn't even have to look up the answer to this one because I had the answer in my photo album the entire time. Suck it, decrepit corpse. It was like the only time that I've ever used the... Aside from an accident, and I guess just a spur of the moment, I'm gonna take a... Then again, that could also have just been an accident. I was messing with the controls in Pokemon Legends Arceus and then accidentally took a picture, if that's entirely possible. But now, I need to get higher. And I'm gonna be cold again. And I don't wanna put on my warm doublet. But yeah, just back to my ponderings. I still don't know why they decided to throw Ingo into, well fine, I'll put on the warm doublet. I just don't understand why they decided to throw Ingo into Legends Arceus. Like, yes, he is a fan favorite, apparently. But it's just highly amusing. Hmm. That of all the games they decided that he should have a prominent role in, because I'm fairly certain that Ingo has more lines and more presence in Legends Arceus than he did in the game that he came from. Which is just funny to me. 
And then that led me onto the topic of fan fiction, in which Ingo is basically always a presence. And nine times, it definitely feels like nine times out of ten. It is either a story revolving around Ingo and his relationship to Emmett and going back. Or at the very least, Ingo is a very important presence in the story. Which is just highly amusing. Another funny thing is that for whatever reason, the, like, girl main protagonist playable character always seems to be, like, presented as, well, a girl main protagonist character in the fanfics. Alright, so one, three, five. But that'll always amuse me. It's always like... One... Three... Five... My brain is terrible short-term memory for some reason sometimes. But yeah, the fanfics are always, like, revolve around Ingo. And then always have Akari be the protagonist of Legends Arceus. For one. That just amuses me to no end. One, three, five, four, one. What did I mess up? Two, four, five, not one, four, five. Le full. And I also love that, considering that a lot of the stories surrounding Legends Arceus are we're getting the crazy uh, train twins back together again and you can't stop me, God, that along the way, they always manage, nine times out of ten, to either bring Lady Sneasler or a Hisuian Sneasel along the way. And I think, like, in three of the stories I've read, the train twins then go on to become Hisuian, like, conservationists, where they're going to rebuild the Hisui lost evolutions and variants. And it's just friggin' hilarious. I don't want to deal with skeletons. I want to do... Con <laughs> Wait, what am I doing with this? Fuck off. Be gone. I don't want to deal with you. Why can't I even spawn here? Hmm, a traveler's sword, eh? Is there anything I care to get rid of? Not really. Wait, I can just pick it up. I have more space now. I can- I have more space! Damn it, that's just a tower. What is the point of high vantage points if I can only see what I already know? All I need is one more... Uh, bliggity blig. Thing. You want an apple? I'll give you an apple. Would you like an eyeball? I can also give you an eyeball. Apple. What are you even doing up here? How did you bring these statues and these apples, you fiend? And now I'm gonna take the apples for myself. This is my apple now, you stupid. You idiot. You moron. My apple. 
mine. My apple. But where was I again? I got distracted. Aside from looking for more... Towers I want to do. I guess I could try and go and do that one because we're kind of uh, at a, dif a decent altitude to maybe unlock that one, maybe. If we can maintain the altitude to get there. But, yeah, it's just very funny to read fan fiction and basically just see... Oh no, it's the dragon. If I if I shoot it with an arrow, I think it drops a scale, and I think the scale or claw or something is needed. Ah oh, man. Should have aimed for these mountains. I'm not going to be able to get there in time for shooting the dragon, I don't feel. Hmm. Because I think that there is a, like, set pattern... To the dragons, they like begin and end at certain places at certain times. Darn. Almost made it the entire way. But yeah, it's just very funny reading a specific set of fan fiction from a specific fandom. Technically, it's like a sub phantom. Please don't wake up. Be dead. Be dead forever. Be dead forever. Don't wake up. But reading a specific, like, s you motherfucker. No, you don't. You better not wake up, too. It was just amusing to read fan fiction from a specific fandom. Why do you have just infinite range? Meh. Terrifying. To just to see the same things crop up over and over again, and you've slowly come to realize, ah, this is the fandom's preferred thing. The Pokemon Legend Arceus players really enjoy Ingo, and have basically designated uh, Akari, the female playable character, to be the canonical player character forever. For some reason. Also, funnily enough, whenever the story is like Ingo goes home to his family, and usually Akari slash, and also Don, Akari is usually also Dawn in these fan fictions. That is usually a double whammy, but also usually. Akari remembers her life as Dawn. To the point, I think I've read two fan fictions who have kept them uh, But yeah, so far I've read two fan fictions who have gone the route of Akari does not remember. And that is quite rare. Usually Akari is Dawn and remembers. I don't know if I've read a fanfic where Akari is Dawn and doesn't remember. Apparently those, uh, I don't know what they're called. Something folks are happy farmers. Interesting. Activate this tower. Well, yeah, it's just like most of the fan fiction seems to be funny train man go home. Akari is there. She's usually Dawn and usually has her memories. More often than not. It's just very amusing to me. Give me the knowledge droplet. 
a droplet of knowledge. And now this area is open up for super exploration. If I so chose. But I'm going to... I guess I'll keep the bandana because climb quick. I don't even really see a shrine anywhere. I don't see any orange. Which is disappointing. I just need more than an orange shrine. And I'll be able to get the super upgrade. I am here for your melons. Or durians. Dear God, it is laggy up here. Get smacked. But I wonder what other, like... Are you gonna jump off the cliff? Other just, like, common occurrences and tropes. And, like what is personally canon to players is in the various worlds. Ah. That's odd. Ah, it's because you are this. Get hammered. Fool. You are mean. Oh, don't tell me I'm trapped in here now. Okay. Uh -huh. That was very mean, game. You almost trapped me. I can't believe that physics would attack me like that. Me! And physics! But I guess I'll have to read a guide on how to effectively farm the, the, the dragon gods. Why does it feel like there's... Oh, it's probably just steam and stuff. Or it could be an invisible tower. Tower castle off there. Across the sea. Hmm. Just trying to think because. Hmm. Apparently, there's treasure there, too. We're going to go there and see if we can survey anything in this area from Kakariko Village. And probably try and do the tower that's over there. See if we can... And while we're in Kakariko Village, we can also get more hearts and stamina and stuff. Not sure. More base stamina would be nice. But at the same time, Master Sword would also be nice. Because I think we have time to do, like, a little bit more. Because I want to stop before a three-hour mark. So we don't spend eternity. Also doesn't help that I did, uh... Start a bit late. Because capture card was being a bitch. Hello, man. Can't believe we ran into each other here. Did you uh, make it to the place in the picture? I did, thanks. That's great to hear. I'm going to keep traveling, so it's possible that we'll run to each other again. <laughs> kind of funny that he's just appearing wherever I appear. I will take a heart container and a heart. Oh no, heart container, and then they almost asked me again. We'll take at least one heart container. And I'll try to remember in the future to utilize my... Bob, we'll take another heart container.
Because I think you need 12 hearts or something to effectively get the Master Sword. And getting the Master Sword is very important. Once again, it's also raining. <laughs> Very annoying. But let us see. Let us see. Oh, there are a few shrines out this way. And I think this is also heading towards, like, the Zora's Domain, I think. Perhaps. Hmm. Considering it's raining, it would be foolhardy to try to paraglide over there, but... Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. That's the tower for this area. How dare you try and deceive me, you fiend. And it looks like also another shrine. Because I don't know, like, which Divine Beast is easier to start with. Honestly, I would assume it would probably be something like... The camel... No, not the camel. I think the camel would be one of the harder ones. Death Mountain will probably be last for me. Well, I think we'll do this one, and then we'll head towards the tower. How dare you! Also game. Very rude game to initiate... Like, stealth strike when you know it won't work. Very rude. Very mean. Okay, good. I just want to make sure that was the same one that I already marked. Because if I missed one like that, it's entirely possible I would miss it again. But down we go. More spirit orbs. More spirit orbs. And towers. And then once we have access to all over the map, we can do lots of things. And then who knows? Maybe tonight I'll even get some, like, writing done. Because I don't know. For some reason, streaming gives me energy. And talking about, like, the fanfics and my own writing really makes me want to write. <gasps> I really should, like, write more on my uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic. Although, after reading that one, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, slash Mystery Dungeon fanfic, I now want to include a cameo from Mystery Dungeon Emmett and Ingo. Because I just think that would be amusing. I don't even need to explain it. It's my story. My story, my rules. You... Oh, sure, when I want the orb to fling out of my bowl, it wants to be a bitch about it. Well, I just wanted to come to shore, now it's being a bitch about that, too. You bastard. You motherfucker. You 
triple dick. I just want you out. Fine, we will go very slow. Because you are a delicate flower maiden. Bleh. You are a delicate bitch. Did I not need all of these orbs? I don't think I would have needed all... Hmm, but there's a big button there, so maybe I might need the orbs. Do I need all the orbs to... Like, wait... I know, I don't think so. Eh? You give it that to me, you whore. <laughs> Boing. Why did it give me so many extra balls that I didn't need? Makes me wonder if there's like a hidden treasure chest somewhere. Why did it give me so many balls that I did not need? The mystery that will eat at my soul for eternity. Why the balls? Yes, 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 resourcefulness. Although the monk must have seen me just flailing around with that one ball. is just like, why is he doing that? He doesn't even need it. What the fuck is wrong with the hero of Hyrule? And I also just realized that technically, if I really, really wanted to, I could have probably just used the Cryonis rune to pop them up out of the water, bring them to land, and then put them manually into the bowl instead of scooping them out. And I'm just an idiot. Fear me, for I am the great Lord Idiot, here to eat your sushi. Why the fuck? You whore bastard. You don't see me. You don't see shit. You don't know shit from fuck. You are made of almonds. Your cyanide will activate in five seconds. You will fuck off to the realms unknown. Actually, you will fuck off to the known realm of die. Be gone. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Why? How dare you exist in my world? You... Yeah. Would have been hilarious if I was focusing on that one. Cursing it out, I turn, and another one immediately sees me and is ready to eat my soul. You wanna fight me, green man? Green man group? Your friend is dead and you don't even care. And you know what? I don't care either. Goodbye. I just want tower and it's raining again! Then again, the... We could be getting close to the Zora's Domain, so that could be somewhat justified. But at the same time, it feels like it's eternal rain everywhere. There's a Henox. If I wanted to kill you, I probably could. Hmm, do I want to... Do I want to try my luck? Hmm, I could try my luck. I have arrows. I have arrows and fairies. Decent health. Doing decent damage. Hmm. 
Why was I afraid of you? Why in the world was I afraid of you? It didn't even get to play the Hinox music that much, because he's dead. And I suppose I should put a... marker... here. Hmm, Traveler's Sword... Now we need to still get up there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I should make a note of just here. Henok. And I'll... How dare you exist in my world. Oh hey! Voila, you're a... Yes, I'm a Hylian little fish man. Fish woman. Hey, come here! Oh my, oh wow, oh whoa! It's a Hylian, a real Hylian! Um, I mean, you are a Hylian, right? Yes, I am. I knew it, I so knew it! Well, what are you waiting for? Go see Prince Sidon! Let me guess. He's waiting at a no-go bridge, which is upstream Nora uh, Zora River. Please listen to what dear Prince Sidon has to say. <laughs> I know it's sudden, but you'll understand everything once you get there. Trust me. You'll see. How am I doing today? Uh, today I'm doing very nice. I'm apparently well fit to take down Hennox, which I was not expecting. Hmm. I do want to go up there, but it's raining, and I fear... But I should follow the river. <laughs> and also, streaming is just nice. Streaming is nice. And for some reason, eases my nerves for some reason. I'm sure that a lot of people would personally think that streaming is, like, worse for nerves. And I'm sure it is for a lot of people. And also depends on, like... Oh, rude. But it also depends on, like, what size of a stream you're working on. And how quickly you grow as opposed to where you are comfortable at. Very rude. I'm supposed to be hit-stunning you the entire time, you bastard. But yeah, I'll go ahead and... Oh yeah, I already marked you. Hm. And I'm not gonna deal with you, I just want that tower. There's probably a bunch of monsters I have to deal with, but, meh. Uh, drown for me, please. His friends didn't even react! I want that treasure chest. Be hilarious if I touch down on it, it breaks, I fall, I drown. A hunter's shield? That is not even worth my arrows. But yes, things are very nice today. Normally, uh... Normally, like, uh, open world games... I don't know, like... Are hard for me to stream, yet this one, Breath of the Wild, is very nice. And I think that's a testament to Breath of the Wild itself. Breath of the Wild is just a nice game. Nice to play, nice to experience. Goddamn skeletons! Then again, streaming, like, uh, overall has been going very nicely lately. And that guy just tumbled to his doom. Good for you, man. I just can't wait to play more games on stream. Because I don't know. Some games are really heightened by playing them on stream. Other games, I feel, are hurt by playing them on stream. Depends on the game. But, like... Some games are just very fun to play on stream. Like the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Ace Attorney is immaculate on stream. I probably wouldn't like Ace Attorney as much as I do if not for doing it on stream. 
having people to talk to about it, as well as doing the voices for people to hear. Because normally when I play games alone, I don't really talk that much. I just play the game. But when my brain feels like it is obligated to talk, it means that I think more. Gets brain going. And now the idea that like, ah, so you stream to facilitate fake social activity and that actually helps your brain uh, is a weird thought for the brain that is currently apparently faking that to be sane to itself. But that is a thought. By tricking itself into thinking that it needs to talk more, the brain feels like it is existing. Oh. And... Top. Always nice to have more shrines able to be gotten. I climb, I climb, I climb the tower, climb. Hey, is somebody up here? Yes, they are. Hello, dude. Whoa! I cannot believe it! Oh. Uh, excuse me. Yes, you. I am Groove of the Zora. Oh. It is apparent that you're a traveler, but may I ask what brought you here? I could ask the same. Hmm, how very astute of you. An excellent query indeed. I, by order of Prince Sidon of Pr Zora's domain, am searching for a Hylian. Or I was, but then I fell asleep. I awoke to a loud noise, an awful quaking, and now here I am. I'd like to get down and be on my way, but I'm simply too high up. I need to figure something out. Prince Sidon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. But you, you're a Hylian, yes? Well, then my luck is improving. Prince Sidon, I found one! I found a Hylian! Ah, uh, Prince Sidon doesn't seem to notice my struggle. Perhaps I should swallow my fear and jump to the river below, and then I could return to him. He must be very worried sick. Ooh. Nope, nope, can't do it. I'm too high up. I'm likely to meet the gods of the ever after before I ever see Prince Sidon again. Ooh. Mr. Hylian, I must apologize. It'll be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. Please, you must leave me here and go on ahead. It seems that even people in the game are really into Prince Sidon. Then again, I think a lot of people are into a lot of the characters that are in these games. But I'm just very- I like that they decided for Breath of the Wild, hey, let's go crazy with the fantasy races. I just find it funny, though. We have the rock people. We have the fish people. We have the bird people. And then we have the tanned women of the desert. <laughs> ah, yes. The four fantasy races. And now we have access to, presumably, Zora's Domain. We'll go meet Prince Sidon and presumably have him guide us to... I guess what we'll do is we'll go do that shrine and then meet Prince Sidon. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, dear sir. You will die up here alone. Ha 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 ha. Wee. Ha Oh, hey. Ooh. Oh my, how wonderful. You're a Hylian, yes? Yes, I am. Perfect. It must be my lucky day. That's what everyone's saying today. Oh, <clears throat> I apologize for calling out to you so suddenly. I am Turfau of the Zora. I have been searching for a Hylian like you for a very long time. My home, Zora's domain, is in terrible danger. That is why Prince Sidon sent me to in search of a strong Hylian warrior. Ah. Prince Sidon is waiting at Enogo Bridge. Would you please talk to the prince and perhaps save us all? We'd be very, ever so grateful. <laughs> Why does this feel like a basic fantasy story now? Quick, we looked, we're looking for one person to save us all. Will you go do that, please? Which is just very amusing. We'll quickly do this shrine. Meet Prince Sidon and probably make our way to Zora's domain and... Well, that will be that.
Oh, is it a combat one? Shit! Well, it's a minor test. And we have, uh, Annihilation for you. I'm gonna kick your ass, little guardian dude. This is the third combat trial I've done today. I have basically a heart full of combat encounter. Oh, you slut! I did not expect a drive-by. But that's what this motherfucker did. You want to smack into a wall for me? Go ahead, smack into a wall. Idiot. I probably should have charged up my attack. Nope. Ow. I'm getting bullied. I'm getting bullied, bastard. Man, I'll just get out of here. I do like that you just get kind of bounced around by that. And now we can forsake yet another normal shield for a guardian shield. Huzzah. Ever wonderful. I do find it funny, though, that I was, like, looking around for, like, shrines anywhere, and they're very, like, hard to come by. And then I look into Zora's domain, and there's basically... Trials and shrines, as far as the eye can see. Now give me your soul and bugger off to the afterlife, monk man. Monk dude. This makes me wonder, though. In Age of Calamity, there's a specific monk that becomes playable. I wonder if they like, if that's like a monk from a specific trial, or if they just have a monk. That would be interesting to know. Time flies. But are there fly times? Flies of time. If you have fireflies, then you have time flies. Well, let's go say hi to the man. And of course it's raining again. Then again, that's normal. This is indeed Zora's Domain. So I can't complain about rain in Zora's Domain. Say hey there, young one. <laughs> young one? I'm over a hundred years old. Above you. Hello, Sidon. Titan the Zora Prince. Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? Yes, indeed. I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Quite the entrance there. Hmm. Aha! A Hylian! Yes, I knew it! Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I am Sidon, the Zora Prince! And what is your name? Go on, please, tell me. I am Link. Link?! Your name is Link? Fantastic name! Hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. Well, well, granted, actually, you're also, like, pretty old. Uh, I only survived this long time because of a time chamber, like, rejuvenator. <laughs> Apparently, Zora are long-lived. I forgot you're, you were a young child a hundred years ago. Well, in any case, it is a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work. I can tell by, uh, by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Link, you must be a strong warrior among the Hylians, correct? Honestly, yeah. Aha, <laughs> just as I suspected. I'm a Zora Prince, after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. I do like that he has that, like, handkerchief on his chest. It's like, I don't know why. <laughs> it just amuses me. Just random little... Flourish. Oh. Yes, exquisite! I've been searching for someone like you for a while now. A man like Link who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from the divine beast Varuta. Please promise you will help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zora's domain with me? 
Sure thing, bro. Oh, really? Thank you, Link. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zora's domain will be safe for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and oh, head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. As a Hylian, I know you're unable to swim up the river. As such, the path to the domain may be a bit treacherous. You likely have a tough fight in store. There are monsters up ahead that attack of electricity. Don't give up. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, that's right. I have something that I would like to give you. This is just a small trinket to show I have faith in you. Thank you. That's very helpful. It is a drink that will increase the resistance to electricity. I'm not sure why, but its effects do not seem to work for Zora. Perhaps because it was made specifically for Hylians. That is kind of funny. Weird. <laughs> now that makes me wonder if there would be like a Zelda game where you could play as one of the fantasy races. Imagine if you could play as a Goron, or a Zora, or a Rito. Though I think technically that would be kind of like Majora's Mask. <laughs> That would be, because you do have, like, the masks you can play as a Goron, a Deku Shrub. The Deku haven't shown up all that much across history, have they? Which is kind of sad. Because they're, like, a classic. So it's kind of disappointing that the, for them to just disappear. But anyway, it should work wonders for you, though. I shall go on ahead and make sure there is nothing, not anything strange going on where you are headed. I'm counting on you. I love the characters in this game. Utterly fantastic, the lot of them. Now I just hope that I don't get uh, shot by lightning. Though that makes me wonder why there are, like, enemies specifically tailored for, like, lightning and such. And... We shall put on the boomerang, I guess. And we will smiggy smack this dude. Oh, you motherfucker. Don't artillery cannon me. I don't want to fight you, Octo. I just want to sneak up on this man and smack him from the behind. And <laughs> assassination. Oops, no. Be gone. Ah, oh, he went on to land. Was that a boar? Yes. Weird. Octo balloon. And serpent snails. Not serpent snails. Sneaky snails. I don't think I'd like to see a, snur a serpent snail. Fear my stealth skills. My stealth skills are so magnificent that you die. <laughs> woohoo! Everyone's woohooing. It's like the Sims up in here. It's just rain, so it's not thunder. That's good. Oh. Good for you. Be gone. I shall smack you with a small sword. My traveler's sword will travel up your ass. <laughs> oh, but it's, it's just gonna flow down. I was going to blow them all up and uh, excavate. You wanna come out and say that to my fucking face? Bastards. How dare they? And a high-tailed lizard. I'm so stealthy that the things that I technically sneak up on scare me. That is actually a... would be an interesting, like, downside... Like, imagine a species of creatures that are so inherently sneaky that... I'll continue after this. Hey, Link! Sorry for calling out to you from the river. Since I pressured you into coming, I was not sure you would really come through. I'm pleased things are going well. 
Ever since this strange occurrence, there have been a lot of monsters around here. Be careful as you proceed. And hurry! All of my fellow Zora are anxiously awaiting your arrival! As am I. But uh, as I was saying, it would be interesting if there was a, like, fantasy race creature that is inherently stealthy. But because of that, it has, like, no concept of being stealthy. It's so is n it's naturally stealthy to the point that it doesn't need to be cautious about certain things. <laughs> Darn you. I want to get to that. <laughs> I am a failure. No. We have basically a creature that's so inherently stealthy that itself doesn't know how to be cautious. Because it has no need to be. It's stealthy. And we should have hammer to get things. Amber! And we'll put on Traveler's Sword again. Not the rock and roll! How dare the monsters of this world try to crush me! I am but an innocent boy! Why do you not have a weapon? You're obviously waiting for somebody to come by. So why not prepare thyself, you fool? Die! You, you have arrows, why do you not have a ball? You dumb. They don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. Nobody knows I'm here. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, treasure chest. Goodbye. Treasure chest. Well, this bow is about dead, so maybe... There's a lot of these guys just having it out for me. Great, now they're all calling for my doom. How very rude. I am a good man. Or maybe they're just having a nice singing contest. And not coming to murder me. That boar was coming for me more than any of them. Hmm. This frog is now mine. Why is there an arrow here? Oh. Hey, over here! From the river again. Sorry for calling from so far away. The domain is still a ways off, but you're making good progress. I shall be along soon myself. I won't be much longer. In the meantime, I'll be cheering you on from here in the river. So hang in there. You can do it. Stay strong. He's a great motivational speaker. Although I just realized, does this technically mean that... Like... Does this technically mean that... Oh no! Oh son of a bitch! I was wondering, it was just like, oh is that just a thing? I wonder what that is! It comes to life! It comes to kill you! It is the nightmare! Now where are the apples? I forgot to make actual things. Son of a bitch! What the fuck hit me? It's stupid. It was through rock. And so I don't... Well, you fuck off, you bastard of a game. I want to shoot it. Game, you're being a fuck. I want to shoot the bitch. Let me shoot it. It's very stupid, game. And unless it's doing an actual attack, I feel like it shouldn't be able to shock me. That is also dumb. 
Oh, I thought it was a weapon, not a rock. And then I hurt myself. Hubris! I could have shot like a bomb arrow in there, I guess. But I think I only have one. But still, very silly game. Oh, and now we're into the area of, I guess, lightning and thunder exist again. But here I was, trying to bring out for mining. Oh, uh, nope, nope, wrong thing. Ah, nope. No electrical conductivity here, nope. Even the birds are scared by me. And now it seems that the, uh... That has passed, so I shall be able to put my things on again. I'm not scared of you. But yeah, there was a random, like, lightning moment. I guess because we were in the lightning keys cave and the game decided that, like, ah, this is fitting. But I don't know, that just seems weird. And again, I don't like that the lightning keys can just walk at you and attack you. This feels very mean. In fact, it feels like it's, uh, for a moment there, it felt like it wasn't raining. But no, it's just the lighting. Hey, Link! You're almost halfway to Zoro's domain. Oh, by the way, there are a few spots up ahead with lots of enemies, but I'm sure you'll be fine. I believe in you, Link! And that shot showed me a treasure chest. Come on, give it to me, game. <laughs> Come on. You bastard! I just wanted a treasure chest. That is all that I desired out of life. And it was just five arrows. You know, that thing I can get by killing enemies. Who put- who gets an ornate chest like that and puts five arrows in it? Who? Who does that? What kind of maniac madman does that? Also, these rocks really make this place look Final Fantasy. Leave that fish alone. Leave the child alone. Be green. I wonder how many wonky dubs there are of anime out there in the world. Ones that we don't even know exist. Ones that could haunt us like any other. You dare try to slide rocks at me? You bastards. Jesus, that's a big rock. But luckily, it's just there to, like, bro block <laughs> brock my path. Ah, uh, yes. Notorious roadblock. Brock from Pokemon. And he took the good one, too. And it flew off into Spaghetti Land. Ooh, is that a mural? More apples for me. History of the Zora Part 1. The eternal Zora's domain as told by King Dorfan. The rains have blessed Lineru since ancient times with an abundance of pure, clean water. 
Seeking a bounty of such water, the Zora gathered there. Thus, as the legends go, the domain was born 10,000 years ago. The land was also rich in ore, and so a unique form of stone masonry was developed to create our new home. The domain is one giant sculpture, a feat of architecture that has drawn admirers the world over. Our great domain will ever stand as a hallmark of the esteemed artists who made it an eternal symbol of Zora pride. Bomb! You slut of a game! Will you fuck off? It's just annoying! Like, honestly, if that's the kind of effect that can do, they should stop every once in a while. Please! I'm gonna... I'm gonna shoot faster than you. I'm a shoot faster boy. I shoot faster than thee. You think you can shoot fast? I'm shoot faster. You jerk. I am the shoot fastest. And now this is a big old bridge. You know, it feels like this would be very slippery. Especially because it is angled down. It's like a water slide of doom. Ah, oh, come on. Water slide of doom. That is what we want. Hey, Link! Look below! Down here! You're still pretty far off, my friend. But I was sure you'd pass, be passing over this bridge, so I've been waiting for you. You'll be in Zora's domain before you know it! In fact, I'm going to head that way too. I shall meet you there! Whoa, Link! Beware, warrior! A monster approaches from behind! Oh. Okay. Game just spawns a decently high level enemy, all things considered. Come on, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme your items, don't fall. Good, your items fall with me. I didn't even know that kind of enemy spawned in this place. Kind of amusing. Lo, look, Link, you are being snuck upon. Wait, if this is Zora's domain, why are there Hylian mushrooms growing here? I can't believe the great conspiracy. The Zoras have stolen Hylian land. Yep. Why would anybody bother to put acorns into a box? They are acorns. Who even eats acorns? Squirrel people. The amazing squirrel girl from Marvel Comics. Is that just above-ground coral? Ah, oh, no. No, you don't, you slut. You motherfucker. You demon. Fuck off! Alright, come on. Come out of your hidey hole, you little bitch. I'm gonna beat you up while you're on the ground! God will not save you, and neither will me! 
lightning rod. So if I just want to cast magic spells upon people, I grant you electricity. Also, why is the masonry uh, put upon land and not water? I guess for tourists? History of the Zora Addendum 1. Around 100 years after the King Dauphin ascended to the throne, a stray guardian crossed up land Zorena into our domain. The guardian seemed unstoppable. Our best soldier's spears barely lift a scratch upon its metal. It was then that our King Dauphin, without a thought for his own safety, came out to face the guardian himself. With supernatural strength, he lifted the guardian and hurled it into a ravine. The impact of the fall left the guardian in pieces, and it was never to trouble another Zora ever again. The citizens celebrated the king's valor. From then on, our, their trust and respect for him grew beyond compare. You can still see the scar he earned from that day on his forehead, a token of his triumph. Just trying to think. That gave me a thought, but then the thought left me. Oh yeah, if that's like the story of the Zora by King Dorfan... Why do we trust it? It's a biased telling. Let me guess. Ah, I thought it would... Thought it would be a little man. There it is. The land we've got to go to. Hmm, I could just, like, cross some of it off. I will skip some combat. But if there's, like, a more masonry history thing, I want to read it. I think that's more down there, maybe? Yes. History! History of the Zora Part 7. The hero who defeated the Lionel as told by King Dorfen. There was a time when the people of the land were th threatened by the dreaded beast Lionel who lived on the ma uh, yeah, something mountain. But one, Hylian, drove the beast back and restored peace to the domain. The Zora Helm won in this fight is no, not, hmm, is something north of the blank in the something near blank lake. It rests there to honor the deeds of the hero Link. Time has taken its toll, but oddly, just on this one. Hmm, so there's a river. Watula River, probably. I would guess. But yeah, this mountain, probably. I'll have to find that helmet sometime worst come to worst always look up the location well we are battered and bruised and lost all of our fairies I think but we have made it to this place and apparently there is a shrine that's like <laughs> right there so we can activate it to teleport here forever. Why would the Zora let a Hylian Sheikah, like, shrine be built here? That seems silly. Unless you're implying that this shrine has been here for 10,000 years. And they, like, built their big structure, carved it around it. It is a beautiful place. And here's Sidon to greet us. Whoa! I, I've been waiting for you, Link. Welcome! Behold the pride of my people, Zora's domain! Now I shall introduce you to the king. Hurry this way! I wonder how many old Zora there are. A Hylian, eh? I believe this is our first meeting, yes? My name is Dunma. You're female, right? 
My, how observant you are. Is there a problem? How old are you? This is not an appropriate question to ask a lady you've just met. Uh, let's just say I'm less than a hundred years old. Can't you tell? I'm so much less formal, formal than the elders, elders, aren't I? At any rate, right now Zora's domain is looking for a Hylian warrior. For more detailed information, please go speak of the King Dorfan in the back. Jeez, Link, just odd questions today, huh? Huh? What is it? Master Link! Is it truly you? The Hylian champion? It's me, Riven! We used to swim together when I was but a child. Remember? That does sound familiar. Well, it has been a hundred years since then, and now I'm over a hundred thirty years old. I must say you've aged well for a Hylian, unbelievably well. Now that I think about it, shouldn't you be dead? Sorry, that may be too, be too personal a question. Um, father, we're on guard duty right now. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> the leader of the pack, Baz, the hero, heroine, Gaddison, and my father, Trello. They have all aged quite a bit, I'm afraid, but they are doing quite well. Oh, but Master Link, you probably shouldn't speak to the elderly. Oops, sorry for keeping you too long. You have business in the throne room, right? Please proceed there at your earliest convenience. Oh, oh Hylian! Oi, Hylian! You must be exhausted after your long journey. Oh, and as for me, I'm called Lido. But enough about me. Mm. Could I possibly ask you to go and meet for King Dorfan? Oh. He's in the throne room. Please, go ahead. Everyone's just like, <laughs> Hylian, go there, please. Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Are you a Hylian? That's right. Uh -huh. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Laflat. I'm the chief secretary for the royal family. Mm. Are you curious about this statue of Lady Mipha? Yes, I am. It's rather well. It's a nice, a nice thing. Uh. If you do not mind, please allow me to explain. This is a statue of the former Zora champion. Her name was Lady Mipha. Uh -huh. She was as kind as she was beautiful. They say her ability to heal wounded soldiers was beyond compare. These soldiers she healed, they are old and decrepit now, but they remember. For this reason, the elders of the Domain all love Lady Mipha dearly. If you would like to hear more, I suggest you try talking to one of them. But that other guy told me not to. Good day! You sound just like the one of the Chica lady. Welcome to Marit Mart. This is where you'll find our general store, the Coral Reef. Our workshop, the Hammerhead, is also here. Or do you need something else? Uh, Maro Mart. <laughs> yep. The general store and the workshop, they're the best shops ever. And together they're called Maro Mart. Maro Mart. La di da di da. <laughs> Just sing a song, why don't you? That's my theme song. Isn't it cute? Is there anything else you'd like to know? Thank you very much for your time. I want to talk to this Goron. Ooh. Hey, you're a Hylian, aren't you? It's rare to see your kind around here. <laughs> As for me, I was roaming nearby during my travels when Prince Sidon recruited me and brought me here. That's because I can touch sock arrows, but I also weigh, well, a lot. There's no way I'll be able to carry you on my back. That's what Prince Sidon said to me. Uh, uh, that was kind of rude of him, wasn't it? <laughs> you seem old. So, the Hylian who stole Lady Mipha away thinks he can just come wandering in here like nothing happened. What business do you have here after all these years? What is this place? The weapons workshop. What are you doing? Trident maintenance. A trident? The light scale trident and the ceremonial trident. You've been making rackets since you walked in here. There's no point in coming here if you do not possess the light scale trident. Leave now. I wonder what the light scale trident is. Aye. This is our general store, the Coral Reef. Here we have swift violets that will help you run faster if you cook and eat them. We also carry arrows for travelers. If you see something you like, just grab it from the table. Oh, unless you have something other business with me. How's business? <laughs> not bad. Oh, I'd like to say that, but it actually hasn't been that great lately. Our goods are mostly for travelers, but we haven't been getting too many of those around here lately. Oh. Ah, at this rate, we have to close our doors like the armor shop did. No, need anything else? Thank you very much. Oh. I can't believe they closed the, <laughs> the armor shop. Fleet Lotus Pods. Uh, draw nutrients from the water, boost your movement speed when cooked into a dish. Interesting. 
Come here, crab. You're mine now. Silver longsword. Hmm. Be gone. It might be a double-handed weapon, but eh. It does damage. We won't do this because it's late, but we will activate it. So that we can teleport here if we want to leave. And we might as well talk to more people and then go talk to the king. Oh, we can cook more if we want. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to the seedbed end. Here we... Could it be? Linny? It is. It's Linny. Precisely. <laughs> yes, I'm sure of it. You're Linny. Wow, it's been such a long time. Wait, but I thought you and Mifa fell to Calamity Ganon. If you've been alive all this time, where have you been? What have you been doing? Please tell me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm an, I'm an adult, and yet here I am making a ruckus. Has it really been a hundred years? In a way, it feels like yesterday. Oh. We've been both through a lot, I'm sure. If you don't mind, I'd love to catch up sometime. <laughs> kind of interesting that Link can just come in here and meet a bunch of old friends. Hi. Hello, welcome to the Seabed End. Wait, it can't be. You're Master Link from a hundred years ago. <clears throat> sorry, back to work I go. We're always happy to provide some, uh, some sound sleep to weary travelers. Welcome to the Seabed End. Our blissful waterbed is 80 rupees. Waterbed? You wish to know about our waterbed? Well, it's as the name implies. It is a bed filled with water. It conforms to the shape of your body, so it's like being wrapped up in a cocoon as you sleep. Very calming. <laughs> oh, and its incredibly cooling effect promises a level of sleeping comfort you simply can't find elsewhere. Perhaps you'd like to try it? I'll be going now. Thank you. Of course. Come back any time. You'd think that they would be more shocked. They'd be like, oh my god, I thought you were dead. They're taking my return rather well, all things considered. I come strolling in, and they don't really say anything. Well, what is the matter? Huh? A Hylian! And not just any Hylian? Isn't that you, Link? How dare you show your face here after what you did to Lady Mifa? Wait, what did you say? I trailer shall punish you on behalf of our beloved Lady Mifa. Ah, that's what I'd like to do, anyhow. But I'm afraid those of us in the Zora Council have our hands full trying to figure out what to do with next about Ruta. You, you were alive a hundred years ago, so you should know all about Ruta. Surely you cannot have forgotten. Lady Mifa, our Zora champion, in order to help defeat Calamity Ganon, she piloted the divine beast Varuta. But I do not understand. Why is the Divine Beast sending a plague of rain to us and making the Domain suffer? I think that the rain is the tears of Lady Mifa, who's defeated without fulfilling her duty. Harsh beliefs. Oh, Hylian, eh? The path to Zora's Domain is paved with monsters, is it not? Here in our Domain, we are currently recruiting warriors to June Prince, join Prince Sidon in his fight. Please hurry up and meet him. Hey. Oh, you! Hi! It's me! I'm the prince... The one Prince Sidon left at the top of the tower! The name's Groove! In the end, I wasn't able to join up with Prince Sidon. Instead, I worked up some fighting spirit and jumped into Zora River from the top of the tower! Then I came back here. I was deeply moved seeing my reflection on the water's surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. Deeply moved? I don't expect you to understand this. But one's diving form, their truest and most beautiful form, yes, truly. So lately I've been spending my days scouting out diving spots. When you learn how to climb waterfalls, please show me your beautiful form. Hello. Oh, you're the guy I met at Zora River. I can't believe you really came. The name's Tona. I'm a member of Prince Sidon's fan club. When I think about Prince Sidon, I can't sleep at night. I'm so tired. That sounds unhealthy. La la la, a gift from the sky, a skyle of light. Skyle? Scale. Who are you? I'm a Hylian. A Hylian? Cool! But you know Prince Sidon is much cooler, hee <laughs> hee. Hmm? You don't have any fins. Are you a Hylian? I'm the president of Prince Sidon's fan club. My name is Tula. Do you know Prince Sidon? I do. 
That's just what I'd expect from our Prince Sidon. His renown has even reached you, Hylian. Ah, uh, mm, Prince Sidon. Just think of you turns me to mush. On the other hand, if that pack of geezer shows up again, I swear. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, Prince Sidon is a man with the magnificent ideas. Oh, I know. Why don't you go and have a chat, Prince Sidon? Yes, do. I like the design of this place. It just seems nice. The stabbing. Uh. Hey. Oh, oh! You're the guy from the in in Inogo Bridge. The fact that you're here must mean you've met Prince Sidon. From now on, you should head to the throne room. Oh. Please, won't you listen to what King Dorfin has to say? But I have to talk to everybody on the way, because why not? Well, well. It is always nice to have a visitor here. Thank you for journeying to our fair Zora's domain. Wait a moment. You! Your Link! The perpetrator who forced Lady Bifa to join his crusade a hundred years ago, only to be destroyed by Calamity Ganon! As though I could ever forget a face like that. You should know that the elderly here who loved Lady Mipha still remember, and they still resent you. I, however, resent the deed and not the person. I also believe in allowing the mistakes of the past to wash away. Link, I have retired from my role as a priest. I am now living my life free from the material concerns of this world. However, ever since I retired, each day is more boring than the last. Spending day after day in idleness only to pass from this world soon? Link, as I'm sure you're all well aware, the afterlife lays claim to all. We never know when it will beckon. If during your travels you meet any engaged couples, I would like you to introduce them to me. Joining two souls is a true honor, one I shall take, stake my life on. Just one more wedding, and I shall be fulfilled. Oh, that's... I'll keep that in mind, my dude. Who are you? Finley. Sleeping in the water. Somehow not dying. Is that more writing, I see? More writing and an old man? What's wrong? Yeah. Uh, a traveler, eh? Upon this stone monument is the proud history of the Zora as dictated by King Dorfan himself many years ago. I plan to record it all in a book, so I'm reading it again. Sounds rough. Link? Is that really you? The Hylian who stole away our Lady Mipha, and what's more, the champion who... I, I cannot forgive you. Not ever. Say what? Do you not understand the gravity of what you've done? Not only did you Hylians fail to stop Calamity Ganon a hundred years ago, but you winked and stole our Lady Mipha from us. I will never forgive you, awful Hylians. Not ever. I'll read your history then. History of the Zora, part seven. The hero defeated the... Ah, it's just this again. Interesting. <laughs> that it's broken in the exact same way. Literally the exact same way. Or maybe, ish. Ruins near. Ah, ruins near. Well, if that's all the people to talk to. Well, at least in the immediate area. <laughs> Are you shocking yourself? Why? Why are you doing this to yourself? Uh, uh, Lady Mipha, watch this! I second the aptly named Demon Sergeant shall strike down the Vine Beast Varuta. What you doing? Your Link! Finally, I can avenge Lady Mipha! It has been a hundred years since you last showed your face here. Now I say and will cut you down myself! What do you mean? <laughs> Plain dumb, eh? Nice try, but you cannot fool me, Champion Link! You are unable to protect Lady Mipha from Calamity Ganon! It has been a hundred years since we lost her. Poor Lady Mipha. How heartbreaking. I won't fail her again. <laughs> There is no way we would ask for your help now, after all this time and after all that has happened. So says I, Sagan the Demon Sergeant. Even if this body of mine is destroyed, I will drown Ruta and shock arrows myself. And in doing so, Lady Mipha's regrets shall be alleviated. If you understand anything of courage, then get out of my way at once. Courage, you say, as you just perpetually shock yourself. 
What if I just took it? Haha! Hey! I'm in the middle of my shock arrow training. I must learn to withstand them. Did I not just tell you that? To commit such violence of great seconds standing right before you. In that case, you take responsibility of peeping divine beast Varuta. <clears throat> now you're no longer in pain. Oh, hey. Do we have the necessary... Where would that be? We do. More health for me. I will take a heart container. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Here I said I wouldn't go past three hours, but then I got to talking to people. They have nice designs and actual, like, what's the word? In excuse me? Investment. Hello, old man. I return from times unknown. Will there be voice acting? Why are you so big? He is the biggest man. Ma, you must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorfin, ruler of the Zora. Hmm? That object upon your waist. Is that not a Sheikah slate? Hmm? Now that I have gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian champion, Link! Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian champion? You can't mean THE Link, THAT champion? So that's where I've heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The Hylian champion Link has be appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Oh, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary. I've been sleeping. Come again? Sleeping, you say? Hmm. Is that why you do not seem to remember me? But surely you must remember my precious daughter. Uh, Mipha, yes? You do, do you not? It doesn't ring a bell. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mipha as well? You and Mipha were so close, yet you do not remember her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon me for his immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. Mm. I dearly hope so. Huh? Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Mm. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. I shall, I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? King Dorfin, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help, why, the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How could you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed. Link is a champion through and through. As things stand now, Zora's domain 
Nay, perhaps all of Hyrule is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. Uh, ah, this is the true prequel to Wind Waker. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. It is their fault that Lady Mipha was lost to us. Link, Divine Beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For Azora, water and air is one. So you would not think this would be a quite problem so critical. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. Their Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Ah, the call of damnation. Hmm, the Divine Beast is crying out once again. How can this ancient technology just create water? That seems rather advanced. Also, why is it based off of an elephant? Do elephants even exist in this world? The Divine Beast Varuta. Your Princess Zelda often studied the Divine Beasts, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through them to stop. Oh. Segan, who is quite shock resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. And that is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. Hmm. I will aid you in any way I can. Of course, please, hero. I beg of you, help me stop Ruta's rampage. I um. I don't... What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So then Princess Zelda is still alive? Yes, in Hyrule Castle. How is she, like, not a hundred years old now? From what I recall, she's actually still young. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time just as you were. The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. I do not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. Wondrous! Naturally, I shall help too! Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link. Let us appease Ruta together. I'm in. Let's do it. Thank you, Link. Truly, we are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means... Our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Zora armor. And that guy is super angry now. Custom armor painstakingly crafted by each generation Zora princess for her future husband. Ow. Pain. Pain indeed. Wearing it will give you the ability to swim up waterfalls. So long as you wear this, 
you can ascend waterfalls just like Azora. Please take good care of it. King Dorfhan! Surely you do not in really intend to give this outside of the Zora armor! Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry! Princess Mifa made that one there to put on her own husband's... Ah, I read that completely wrong. Made that one there with her own hands! It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian! He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him, so why should he receive such an honor? This is too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Mm. <laughs> that Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter, Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. But what shall we do now? I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows. We will need to appease Varuta. But now he is rossed off in a half. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Sidon. I suppose that means you're going to tell him. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square below. Would you mind going there? I would like you to try to speak with him. We'll finish off this conversation and then we'll end... ...everything. You said square down below. I guess n not this square. The square even below her, I guess. Uh, Muzu, please listen. I don't care what you have to say. Hmm, <sighs> you came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak to you. Listen well, Muzu. There's something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mifa had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I do not know it myself at the time. But it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. What? No! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie! Not this, Zora! How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. It is truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. And now we're going to remember, aren't we? How painful and sad it is. I wonder who, like, how they came to this decision that, at the very least, Link would be close. Well, then again, this is basically kind of a, a call back to Ocarina of Time, I guess. Ever will there be Zoras lusting after Link. I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. They actually went through to add the, like, the cuts I there. Neat. It's funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So sweet. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, 
If anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. I wonder how things could have gone if they had succeeded in the calamity. Then again, that basically makes that the question of like, I wonder how the world of calamity, Age of Calamity goes afterwards. What's the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm. Um, you're quivering, quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter? Mifa, I remember. What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There's no way you remembered her just now when it was most convenient. In any case, without solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and I... And I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Well? Custom armor painstakingly crafted by each generation Zora princess for her future husband. If it were not crafted for me, then why not? Muzu, look closely at the clothes Link is wearing. Huh? Hmm? You really think changing your clothes is going to make me... Uh, what in the... That is the Zora armor from before. Lady Mifa made that by hand and... Yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to and who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mipha made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mipha never told you. Hmm. Now that you know, you must promise to help us Help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you have already figured it out. Um, I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. Uh, I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian. But I suppose it is our only option at this point. I'm a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior toward you. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. That tall mountain over yonder. It is called Plo Ploimus? Ploimus Mountain. And there you will also find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to a Zora. Hmm. Aha! You must mean the Lionel. He is a man beast, that one. That beast does indeed wield shock arrows. There's certainly one way to collect them quickly. He is vicious to be sure, but I'm certain Link will rise to the challenge. In order to appease the divine beast, I estimate that you will need... At least 20 shark arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? Why do you still doubt him, Muzu? I have no doubt that he will be triumphant. Hmm. Okay, Link, let's get moving. The fastest way to Ploimus Mo Mountain is to ascend the waterfall east of the domain. That Zora armor should come in handy to just swim to the waterfall basin and then go up the waterfall from there. Oh. I'll wait at the east reservoir lake, right by the Divine Beast. Gather at least 20 shock arrows and then come join me. I'm on it. <laughs> Wonderful. Together we shall stop that divine beast's onslaught. I like the story. But I suppose that that shall be it for now. We have gone way longer than I meant to because story happened. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. This has been a very fun time. We mostly just activated a few more towers around the world. 
mainly in this section. Activated a few more towers, did a decent few shrines, and did have actually pushed the story forward a bit. Huzzah! But, yes. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. An edited content YouTube channel called Neon Icy Wings, of which I swear edited content is coming soon. And then the archive stream channel, Neon Icy Games, where I both stream on YouTube as well as upload all the streams to for posterity and archival purposes. So if you want to watch me play through the Mass Effect trilogy, Undertale, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, you can find them all there. And they should all have their dedicated playlists that should be up to date. I should probably check that someday. Hmm. But if you prefer to watch me play these games live on Twitch, I also have a Twitch channel, Neon Icy Wings, <laughs> twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings, bleh. But, yes. If you also want little pieces of art from me, like my character in the corner and other such things, you can see me post art to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, Newgrounds, just tons of places because the internet is too big. And you can find links to them in my link tree, which can be found in descriptions, bios, and link places all over, or at link dot, no, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. It is still a wonky way of doing it, but hey. And also, there should also have links to, like, my Patreon and some writing places, I think, meh, if those also intrigue you. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.